Hello and welcome to Dark Souls 2. This is Inverno and today we're going to be going through a little idea I had of just go ahead and making a video about soul optimization or soul memory optimization and how to you know make low level builds work in Dark Souls 2 as it's very different from Dark Souls 1. And uh, I'm going to be making a build uh, called the Ravenous Man and he is going to be a well, you'll see. He's going to be a build that uses a meat hook and a butcher knife. Um, you will be starting as warrior or knight because it has the best stat allocation. Where, uh, if you look at it, I have four attunement and six faith with all the other stats being pretty average. Um, the four attunement is good actually because I want to have two heal spells, but I'm going to use the ring to save myself, you know, eight or ten soul levels instead of actually putting levels into attunement. And uh, as a gift, Bonfire Aesthetic is the only choice. <laughs> it's too useful not to take. And because um, there are a lot of places you can Bonfire Aesthetic to get extra upgrade materials early in the game. Uh, but yeah, let's see. And uh, for the face, let's just make him look creepy. That's, of course, always important. In fact, we're probably just going to hair. Proceeding hairline. How about uh, awkward gray hair? <laughs> Bushy eyebrows. Uh, homeland. We'll make it black and then we'll turn him white to make him look extra weird. <laughs> uh, yeah, what I'm hoping to do is literally just show and explain all the choices I make on making a low level build effective. How to create, because I'm planning to have this build be under like 150 soul memory, 150,000 soul memory, which is extremely low, and you'd be able to invade pretty much anywhere in the game with that. Uh, Right, nice and creepy looking. But first, we gotta make this guy creepy, which is a, a task that I am working on. Come on, where's a, where is that option? There we go, nice and, uh, wait, that's not it. Not that, this one. This is the one that makes you look creepy. There you go, perfect. 10 out of 10 would do. There we go, creepy green eyes, there you go. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty optimally creepy. I'd give that a 5 out of 10. Uh, yes, we're going. Alright. Alright, so I'm starting... I have the DLC stuff, which is actually helpful in this case. Let me turn off that little stupid thing. Oop, wrong way. Where am I going? Uh, yeah, but uh, so... When you're planning your routes and stuff, it's best to literally kill as few bosses as possible. And when you're actually going to bosses, you literally just want to skip pretty much every single enemy. The, the goal of soul memory optimization is to get as far as you can with the lowest possible soul memory. Which usually involves, uh, you never use your items, like your consumable soul items. There's literally no reason to use them because they just raise your soul memory. So you just leave them in your inventory, give them away if you want to. Uh, or just trade them all to straight, why not? <laughs> But yeah, like, I'm gonna skip the entire tutorial area where I, I normally, like, clear it just because, yeah, but I'm not gonna do it this time. And, uh, my goal is gonna be to use the homunculus mace, which I need one more dex for, to kill pursuer first. And, um, this is, uh, something I need to explain probably right away. Most people would probably, because, uh, my route is going to be to get enough souls to buy the cat ring and go down and kill the rotten. That's the first two bosses. I'm gonna kill two bosses first one being the Pursuer, the second being the Rotten. Uh, the reason I'm not killing Dragon Rider, which is much easier, you can just knock him off a cliff, is because Pursuer drops a ring, and Dragon Rider doesn't give me anything helpful. So it's more effective to kill Pursuer instead of Dragon Rider in this case, because Pursuer gives me souls and an item I can actually use, whereas uh, Dragon Rider gives me nothing, but just souls. So yeah, and uh, whenever you start out a new game, pick up the fucking Estus Flask Shard, because I almost always forget. <laughs> but yeah, like that's just an example of like how you should plan your routes when you make a low level build or a low soul memory build because every little, every soul counts. Whereas in Dark Souls 1, you're literally just able to relax and not give a fuck as long as you didn't level up. In this game, they kind of ruined that. They made it where you really have to fucking try hard to <laughs> make a good low level build. Alright, Emerald Maiden. Hello. How are you? I am going to have to get enough souls to level up once to use the homo mace. It kind of sucks. Uh, so I'm, I don't even I don't have to check how many souls I need. That's going to be... I hate that. 
I really wish I could uh, just start out using it, but uh, I'm starting this class because it has the optimal soul distri stat distribution, so I kind of have to deal with that. All right, um, here I need exactly 948 souls, which I can honestly get that on the way to the pursuer, and then warp back, level up once, and then I can use the homo base. And the reason for the and, um, another thing, uh, another thing with soul memory you really need to pay attention to is your soul usage. Remember that you, uh, with a low, low soul memory build, you're going to be very, very restricted on how many souls you have. And the best thing you can do is level up, generally, because that can be redistributed. But upgrading upgrading equipment that you're not going to be using on the build, like finally, is really bad. Uh, I, I, I thought about this when I was, I was making this build, and I, I fucked up really badly. I made two plus four broadswords, because I was power stancing them just to clear the rotten. And I kind of thought about it, and I was like, that's like, you know, 5,000, 6,000 souls I can't get back. I put those into those broadswords, and now they're gone. And I don't need them. Like, I can kill the rod, and what I'm planning to do is kill the rod with the fire longsword plus zero. Because, you know, I can. And I was like, yeah, I mean, if I had used those souls to level up instead, I would have a better character when I finish the build than I would if I put a bunch of souls into upgrading broadswords or upgrading the home to this mace or something like that. So it's actually best when you're doing a low soul memory build to never upgrade any equipment that you're not going to be using on the final build. If, you, if your build is going to be using uh, the blue flame as your main weapon, then don't waste your time upgrading a longsword. Just, uh, you know, use magic through the playthrough with an upgraded catalyst, and you could probably get away with that, to be honest. I don't know why I rested this bonfire. You don't, you don't need to. You can just skip it. Skip the shit out of it. <laughs> All right. Um... Yeah, actually, I do need to kill some of these dudes, don't I? Because I have to get 900 souls. Crap. Uh, I'll just do it when I get to the the second bonfire. Cause just, oh, whoa. Headshot, yo. I'll do that when I get to the second bonfire because you get more souls for those enemies up there. These ones don't give as much. And also because I don't want to fight these dudes. Because he has a bow and it's spooky. Way too spooky. I believe this is the one that's an effigy? Yeah, I want that. Ow. Worth. Grab his life gem. Bring you guys around here. I don't want them to knock me out of the, the fog door when I go through it, so I'm just I'm like trying to trigger them into attacks and uh, being stuck and stuff. Because if they knock you, if they knock you into this fog door, they usually surround you and kill you. I've had it happen before. It was bad. Felt bad. Felt bad, man. All right. Uh, do the stay to the left here so that I have room on the right to roll past him. That's just speed running tactics, yo. So fast. I actually don't know how to do the binocular views, but I kind of wish I did. Because that would be entertaining to try out for once. I saw Iron Pineapple figured it out. It was kind of interesting. Hopefully he'll make some terrifying video about it. Alright. Here we go. And, alright, so we're here. Uh, There's actually a strategy you can use where you can buy a firebomb and throw it, like, right here to open the door. But that's wasted soul memory, like I said, so... Let's just not do that and go get our souls that we need. And uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and, uh, yeah, go ahead and kill these guys. Broadsword is actually one of the most viable weapons in this game. Uh, not kidding, you can clear the whole game with, like, uh, power stance broadsword. It's not even trying. It's it's really strong. Because that is, I actually did that um, at one point, just trying it out. Power stance broadsword, guys, do it. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> I don't know how it is in PvP, but I'm assuming it's still good because it combos really well. There you go. Alright, so yeah, we need 948 is all we need. And if I can, I'm going to try and uh, break down that wall because it'll make things easier on me, but I don't really need to. In fact, I'll go, yeah, a good idea is to just go ahead and get whatever's face, you know. Uh, get Kale. Just... Ah, crap. Uh, I'm gonna need his crap and his soul vessel and his upgrade materials, so. Why not? Alright, we're at 590. And we're almost there. Boulder. Don't want to get killed by that, it'd be embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, God, that guy has a creepy face. I like it. Oh, yeah. And this is uh this is the ultimate seed running tactic right here. <laughs> ah. 
He's... Uh, okay, good, good key. What a joy to... All right, thank you. Uh, let's grab these. I don't even think I need these because you can't even use them in an invasion. Yeah, yeah, I remember. I remember that one specifically. From stuff does it let you use spell re spell restoring items in invasions? Because fuck you. <laughs> That's all. I don't even understand that one. That one doesn't even make any sense. It's like healing items I can kind of get, but spell restoring items really? Like, like really? <laughs> it's fucking nonsensical bullshit. We really need to be able to use like some kind of healing item in invasions. It really sucks that invaders have to invest into fucking faith to get heal. That's your only option. Warmth is too risky and takes too long, to be honest. I mean, I, I can see it being useful at low levels. I actually, you know, faith and warmth would actually be pretty good on my character. I might actually go with that into the heal if, it, if it not to think about it, because no stat investment. And I, since I have low, such low health, it won't really matter. Or they could just make warmth scale. That'd be better. Hey. And is that enough souls? A little bit more. Just a bit more. Ow. Ow. Thank you. Do I have anything that does fire? Sadly, no. Um, so I'm at 970. I need, I need 940, correct? Yeah, we're good. So now I'm going to go ahead and run back. Normally I just homer bone, but I'm lazy. So I'm not going to. And, um... Yeah, we will just... Wait, no. I'm not lazy because I don't homer bone. That doesn't make any sense. I mean, I'm cheap. I don't want to waste a homer bone. That's what I meant. Not that I... Oh, I have one. Wow. I didn't think I had one. Uh, okay. So, yeah. Now we can go back, level up, use the homunculus mace, and kill the pursuer. Because, uh... The reason for the homunculus mace is that the broadsword will take 10 million years to kill pursuer. <laughs> like, like, literally. Uh, he's weaker to strike damage than he is to slashing damage, so he takes a lot more damage from the homunculus mace. Dex level. I level Dex. Don't tell anyone that. Don't tell anyone. All right, guys. Don't tell anyone. Shit! I warped the wrong bonfire. I'm a dumbass. Uh, I guess this is the time to take a drink. Hmm. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, don't tell anyone that I leveled up decks to use this fucking thing. Oh, here's another pro tip. Take off your fucking armor because it doesn't, you know, it just slows you down. <laughs> I mean, in PvE, I understand the point of armor and all that, but personally, I prefer to be moving fast than be moving slow with a bunch of armor on. Alright, so let's kill the Pursuer. And if I see a summon sign, I'll grab it because why the hell not? I actually... I haven't confirmed this, but I think you get less souls when you summon people from, for bosses. I don't know if that's true yet or not. And if it is true, then new meta is fucking summon two phantoms for every boss fight if you can, because that will like completely optimize your soul memory. Hello. Yeah, I got 100 damage. I think the broadsword will only do like 50. 23. Fuck yeah. You literally just strafe to the left, right of that. I don't know why people fucking complain about getting hit by that when they dodge to the left of it. And it, it, yes, you're gonna get hit if you do that. Of course you're gonna get hit. You're like walking into it, you know? You can parry that. I am not in the mood to try and parry that. Oh wow, a stagger that fast. That's pretty good. You could very easily parry that, uh, that, that, that attack specifically. Uh, I'll, in fact, I'll try it. Nope, I missed. I'll, I'll try and parry him just for the fun. Heal. Yeah. Come on, baby, do it. Not that attack. Definitely not that attack. Definitely not that attack. Yeah. Another pro tip, whenever he does that, uh... Mm, I don't think I can parry it with such low adaptability. I don't have the, the, the power inside me. That attack right there where he just did, always roll through it. Like, uh, when he does it again, I'll state something about it. That attack right there. Roll behind him. Don't roll in front of him. It's bad for you. Alright. 
You know, I thought I got it, but I guess not. So I guess I'm just gonna stop trying and not get myself killed trying to do that, alright? As much as I, I love parrying the Pursuer, I can't do it with such low adaptability and with such a crappy parrying weapon. Such is the bane of not being allowed to, uh... Yeah. Yeah, the Pursuer's not too bad if you have the mace. Uh, if you don't have the DLC, just get the regular mace, I guess. Or the Morning Star. That'll also work, I believe. They're both strike weapons, as far as I know. Yeah, there's a, there's a, once you get used to dodging for Pursuer, he's actually not that hard. The only time he's hit me is when I was screwing around and right there. And he is done. Oh, whoa. Still alive. Die. Alright, so there's all the souls I need. Bring of blades. Now, there's something I need to get uh, right now, which I'm going to do now is, uh, the Ring of Life. Uh, you're probably asking why the fuck I would need that. It's literally just to have more health so I don't get one shot by the rotten, because that's the next boss I'm fighting. <laughs> I mean, as stupid as that sounds, it is what I'm gonna be doing. So I need, so the only things I need to get are the Fire Longsword and, uh, the Ring of Life, and I'll pick up the Blue Seal as well, because it also gives you, like, uh, 3% more health or whatever. Which, hey, that's 3% more health, man. Oh, he jumped down? These guys never jump down. That's really odd. Alright, well, now you're dead. I need to kill that guy because he will literally be in the way if I don't. There, like what I said, with Soul Memory Opposition, try not to kill enemies, but if you have to, it's not that big a deal as long as it's not like killing Mastodons. If you're just killing like a hundred soul enemies, whatever, it's not that big a deal. And uh, I like to open that door and then open this trap because it usually kills them. No, nope, not that time, no. Don't you dare hit that chest, I will kill you all, I swear to god. Alright. I don't even need to kill that guy. Is there one in here still? Yeah, he's still in here. I'm just gonna roll back, have him. Oh, never mind. He turned around on me. But yeah, that guy shouldn't be a problem. Well, is he gonna hit me? Yep, yeah, he's gonna hit me. Ah, you're a jerk. Jesus. I was hoping to not have to kill that guy, but he smacked me. He smacked me hard. See, so yeah, Ring of Life uh, is useful for the first part of the game. Because, I mean, it's just free health. Why not get it? And it also gives you larger large Titanite Shards, so... There's, like, no reason not to. I don't see. It's also a good idea to conserve your life gems when you're doing soul memory runs, because you can't really buy more without wasting souls. So, that's another thing you should definitely be on, like, wary about when you're using when you're using your life gems. Try to, try to conserve them. But there is always the 20 you pick up in fucking the gutter, so... You don't have to worry about it too much. You get a shit ton when you go through there. I bet, I bet you could probably burn an aesthetic and get another 20 like right away. Because there's no bond boss in that specific zone. Wow, that's actually a good idea. If you ever need like tons of life gems on the, a run and you have an extra aesthetic that you don't need, just fucking burn it <laughs> and get the extra 20 life gems. <laughs> it's a great idea. I like that. Alright, uh, getting these good dudes to not kill you while you go through this door is chance. Yeah, there you go. Whoa. Hey, BB. The easiest way to do this is just to bring him up here and then jump off the side. So, what are we at? Uh, 19 minutes? Oh, man, I'm going slow. I gotta go fast. But it's okay, because I'm about to go kill the Rotten, and that's like the biggest part of this run. To earn, as it is. But, uh, another tip. Amongst those mace, kills those fucking lizards. Uh, a lot of people have issues hitting them with many types of weapons. Uh, specifically dex weapons have a hard time hitting them. But the homunculus mace running attack, if you just do it twice in a row, will almost always kill the lizard for you. I can't really think of an example of where it hasn't worked for me. <laughs> in fact, I'm about to go do it right now. Uh, do I even need the Titanite? I might upgrade my armor at the end, so I should... Mm, I'll just skip it, because you guys are watching. Alright, so we're going to get the fire longsword and warp back up um, with the homer bone. I'm literally going to put it on my hotbar for speedrun purposes. Alright, whoop. Do -do 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 -do. MFW, I fall and die. It's incoming. Incoming. Human effigies. Those are always good. Oh, here we go. 
Strats, yo. Strats. Look at these strats. Look where I am. Haha. Uh -huh. Fuck you. This is my king. I'm king of the hill now. But, uh, I dig your pass. Let's go. Let's do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Please give me fire long sword quickly before the dudes come. Alright, that should do it. Oh no, here we go. Please, 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 yes! No! Damn it! <laughs> uh, it's an item. Don't worry, knives, awesome. Those are actually good for killing lizards as well. If you have any issues and you don't have the monkey mace, throw a fucking throwing knife at it and we'll get it, usually. All right, we got the fire lung sword. I will probably need to level up to use it. Oh, no, I don't. Really? Wow, it's 10-9. I thought it was much more than that for some reason. I'm stupid. All right, so we can go buy the cat ring, put any extra levels we have into uh, vigor and endurance and adaptability. And then we will go fight the rotten. Uh, another guy, like I said before, putting your souls into levels is never a waste. Because uh, matchmaking is entirely done on soul memory. So if you're level 1 and you have 100,000 soul memory, you can be matched with someone else who's level 50 and has 100,000 soul memory. It doesn't matter. Level does not matter. So putting those points into level, or putting your souls into levels is never a waste because you can just respec it to whatever you need. And it just ends up being more health or more endurance or more strength or whatever else you need. Buying the cat ring. Satisfied. Extra souls will go into my soul level and... Uh, we will talk to Salden to get the blue ring because it gives you more health. And there is nothing bad about having more health, especially when you have empty ring slots like I do. Although they won't be empty in a second because I'm going to get the evil eye ring of uselessness and a couple of things in a moment. Oh man, skipping dialogue. Creepy face. Yes, I want your blue seal. <laughs> it's a blue seal! Arf, arf. <laughs> Alright. Rings on. Oh, I fell off the small piece of stair there and lost my uh, menu for a second. Ah, there we go. So, yeah. Yeah, I think th I think it'd be best. I have pretty good vigor, but I could use more ADP and more endurance, so we'll level these up. All right, and now we go down and fight that bitch. Uh, have I picked up any more? Well, I need to pick up the two uh, shards. I kind of forgot. That's good. That, uh, you kind of need them. The rotten is not particularly easy at this low level with this crappy equipment, so. I'm gonna go ahead and, yeah, pick up the two shards and the Pharaoh's stone. Those are two things. There's some things I need, and then we get to run. Uh, we get to run the gutter. So guys, guys, I haven't died yet, but I'm about to die. I am about to die so fucking hard. <laughs> I don't think I have ever made it through all the way to the rotten without dying at least once. It just always fucking happens. This guy gives a effigy, and I always just kill him for it because I want it. Normally an effigy costs 1,500 souls, so getting one for 700 souls is better. Because I don't even have to buy it. I just get 700 souls. It's it's efficient, you see? Normally I'd have to, I have to get and spend 1,500 souls, souls to get an effigy, whereas this guy drops an effigy always and drops 700 souls. So it's efficient both ways. It's the best. Gotta love it. And... Effigies are nice because I die a lot. I like to have effigies. So, oh, wait, yeah. I'm, I'm actually going to only get three flasks. I'm not going to make you guys sit through me going and through a load screen to get another fucking shard. Three shards should do it. Let's hope. To see, however. It's best to have, like, five, but that takes a lot of time because I'd have to go... Actually, can I get... I don't think I could get five without the, the fragrant branch is where you get the fifth one. If I remember correctly. Alright. 
Uh, this is where I die always on every single playthrough. Because Jesus Christ. By the way, a tip for this. Uh, with four vigor and both of the rings I have on here, the life rings, you can survive this fall with like one HP, I believe. Uh, it's really, really cutting it close. So five vigor with both life rings is guaranteed survival. Uh, but four vigor is cutting it really close usually. All right, and see, we're going to skip Rail Rat Vanguard and the entire rat area because fuck that area to hell um, by just dropping here down to the lower part. I didn't actually know about this until like my second playthrough, and I was like, oh, you don't have to fight Royal Rat Vanguard. It's a piece of crap. I hate it. You get summoned by Grey Spirits. Although you wouldn't get summoned with this low of soul memory, actually. There'd be like, you literally just wouldn't get summoned. I mean, we're only at, we're only at 20,000. We're going to fight the fucking Rotten at 20,000 because we can. Because we're the best. And no one's going to bring us down. There we go. Right. So yeah, Homunculus Mace, like I said, murders, murders the shit out of Titanite Lizards. I don't actually know why it's like it's just, it's just so good against them. Look how much damage it does, and they can't escape. Just running attack, running attack. There's no escape. Now we get to dodge these guys. Hoorah! It's not easy, but you can do it if you have balls. Yes. Okay, we're good. Then you just drop, and you drop. And you do not sprint. You just drop. If you sprint off that, you'll die. You'll uh, you usually you end up uh, rolling after you land and falling off the side there and dying. Happens all the time. That's why I learned to just walk there. And then you just drop. And you drop. All right. And you pick up your token of spite here, which gives you free entry into the Brotherhood of Blood. Because yeah. And now we get to get. Oh, I don't want to do this. I hate this area. Whoop. Whoop. And whoop. Okay. We made it. Then you have to use a life gem there. Alright. Prepare to die. This is going to kill me. Alright. There's these two guys that I just ignore every time. You can actually just drop right from here to here. There are two, po there are three poison resins here that you want uh, because you know poison resin is fucking always good, especially against bosses. It fucking poison resin is like anti-boss. It's so good. It doesn't really work on the rotten very well because he's very resistant to it. You can still, you can actually still poison him. It just takes like a million hits of it, like anything. All right, there we go. And now, uh, you always want to juke this guy to the right because he'll jump off and kill himself for you. You want to just roll past this guy. He will always hit you. There is no way to dodge that attack as far as I know. You just have to roll through it so that you don't get staggered. Then, uh, if you did that fast enough, when you cross this bridge, the dog should be out of the way. If you take too long, it is likely that this dog on the... wherever... There's a dog here that usually is like right in your way if you take too long uh, to get this far. It's about it's about speed and timing. That's all it's about. This dog is just stupid, so you just roll past him. <laughs> and we didn't die uh, yet. Hopefully, we won't. All right. You should always keep your silver cat ring on while you're here, just because the fact that you can fall and die in a lot of places. So having it on gives you a slight chance of falling and not dying. Resting in that bonfire is important. If you fuck up, you have to go all the way back, so just no reason to skip it. You're not in any rush, really. You just don't want to get any souls. Uh, this is another thing, a pine resin you can get. I like to go for it. It's not too risky. If you, have, if you fall, you fall to a lower platform or don't die, usually. Usually. But that gives you a total of six, I think. Yeah, six, six fucking pine resin. That's enough to kill every boss we're going to need to kill. And kill them all again, probably, if you wanted to. Uh, and then we can just fall... Something just died down there. All right, before you go down, take off all your equipment. There are a whole bunch of dudes down here that will one-shot you. They don't look like... They, they're these little zombie dudes. They hit so hard. It's ridiculous. Look at that. I just want the life gems, please. Thank you. They hit really hard, so you want to have your equipment off before you come down here, since you can just pick up these two items. 
the Dark Fog and the 20 Life Gems, and then just roll through this. Because if you don't have anything on, you won't die. Or, or if you have your equipment on while you roll through them, you break everything and it sucks. You need to repair and it costs a fuck ton of souls. Bad, 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 bad. So just take your shit off beforehand. And we made it to Black Gulch and I didn't die. I guess I jinxed my death so that I didn't... I don't even know. Magic. Magic wings. Alright. So uh, let's put our equipment back on. We're going to put on the evil eye ring instead of the cat ring because there's no more falling involved with this. And we'll just wear the uh, falconer boots because, yeah, it's like the best thing to wear, to be honest. Alright, and uh, I believe we're going to kill him with the fire long sword because he's weaker to fire than he is to physical blunt damage. Especially because he's a big blob, so he's not particularly weak to blunt damage. And I believe, yeah, 78 plus 78 is going to do more damage than 130 flat, so. And uh, it actually has a pretty good scaling for me not having any stats at all for this. Alright, uh, so second bonfire is our goal now. Oh, I hate this. I hate this run, because if you get staggered next to the pool, it's like instant death. So I try and jump here, because you can't be staggered while you're jumping. It's always good to pick that up. Just roll past these guys, they'll be fine. Radiant life gems are nice to have. All right, yeah. Rolling, if you're, while you're rolling, you can't be staggered by the poison spitters. So try and roll or jump when you're going past the the pools that have the dudes in them, because it'll keep you from getting staggered and then insta killed by their grab attack. Kind of sucks. Happened to me a lot of times. I lost like eighty thousand souls doing that once actually. It sucked. Uh, I think we're set. I think we're set to do this. I could go level up one time probably, but I'm not gonna. You know, do that because I'm recording, and you guys don't want to see me do that. Um, so yeah, this is this is the hype moment. This is the moment where we, you know, separate the boys from the men and take on a Lord Soul boss right at the start of the game. Yeah, there's not much you can really do since you can't buff Fire Longsword if you're using, for example, the Homunculus Mace instead, because you don't have the stats for a Fire Longsword or whatever. I don't know, some some reason. Use the poison resin. You will poison him after like 10 or 15 hits, I think. Although you have to be pretty quick about it. But yeah, we're going to put both types of life gems in our thing. And we have two throwing knives. Not particularly helpful. So I'm not even going to bother equipping them. Alright. Alright. I am most likely going to die at least once doing this. Oh god, that spooked me. I thought I got grabbed. Having a higher adaptability helps in this fight a lot, but always remember to roll to the side, and you'll pretty much be fine. And, okay, the biggest thing about Rotten is his AoE attack that he does. It's usually what will get you killed while you're fighting him at low levels. In fact, at high levels, too. Uh, it is literally just him charging up and then blowing up in an AoE, kind of like uh, Nito does. Very similar, actually. That attack is the attack you need to be watching for when he gets below half health. That attack is your fucking enemy. And for that purpose, you should always try and stay at full health while fighting him, even if it means healing, you know, 20 damage or whatever. Ooh, I rolled the wrong way there, and it almost got me in trouble, but I got lucky. That's just a throw up attack. That's free hits. If you can, it's always good to hit his arm, because you can actually knock his butcher hand arm off. I've never actually done it, but I've seen it done, so I know it's possible. Yeah, I'm gonna get him away from the poison, from the fire pools. I don't like getting burned to death, so. Oh! This might kill me. I'm not actually sure. No, it, it didn't. That's surprising. Alright. Let's get really far away, drink some flasks. We're good. Alright, two flasks is enough. I think he starts casting dark magic about this much health. Maybe a little bit lower. Nope, I, th I thought that was the dark magic attack because he put his hand in his chest. Should have got the free hits while could have. There it is. They are hard to dodge, but they are dodgeable. 
Whoa, ho, ho, okay. Missed time that badly, but it was close. All right. Yeah, that was a mistake I made there. Oh, there it is. That's that's the one I'm talking about. That attack is so difficult to predict and dodge. And he will he will constantly hit you with it if you're not paying attention, like I wasn't there. Whoa. Running out of stamina is a bad idea, but certain attacks like that are so so slow that you can usually get away with it. There it is again. Roll away. All right, we're good. Eating a life gem because I rolled, in, rolled into the fire like a dumb shit, but you know. All right, got away with it that time. We're almost done here. Yeah, there we go. Had some good RNG there, actually. Let's jerk off five dicks at once. There we go. <laughs> the creepy man. Alright, so that is basically the major goal of this completed. Now all we have to do is get the Orn effects and make a Butcher's Knife, and then upgrade, and that's it. Uh, getting the Orn effects is not too difficult, and the way we're going to do it uh, is by using the branch we just got while coming to Black Gulch to unlock the door that, uh, unlock the door to get to Shaded Woods, and then we're going to talk to Tark with the Whispers Ring, which I'm going to buy right now, and do his quest and get a free branch from that. Then we're going to kill Tark, take the second Dragon Ring, and go to Warn Effects. Because uh, the second branch you get from him will be used to free Warn Effects. Ugh, you'll see in a moment. But yeah, it's just everything's planned out, and if everything goes according to plan, then my soul memory will be pretty low, as it's only at 67,000 right now, which is really low. Fire Longsword is my friend here, uh, and it should, it should be your friend too. It is a very good weapon without upgrades. Uh, this is the reason that noobs use it. It's because it's like OP out of the gate. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I was just like walking the wrong direction for a second there. It was good. But we'll talk to uh, my pussy. What's up? And get the Ring of Whispers, which is what you use to talk to Tark. And you need that, because you can't get the branch without talking to him. And now we can use this 43,000 souls to level up, because, like I said, never go wrong leveling up. Always a good idea to level up. And we will do Endurance to 13, Death Blade to 13, and then we'll just evenly level them across the board, because that's a good idea. And I'll respec these stats later, so it's not even a pro it's like, it's just good to do this. Uh, I'm go a little higher than that. There we go, 18, bigger. All right. Set and set. I believe I got a flask shard, didn't I? Oh, no, I didn't. I, I got bone meal, didn't I? Yeah, I did, I got bone meal. Burn that. All right. So now we're going to uh, Shade of Woods. Shaded Woods is a pain in the ass. Uh, just run past everything like like before. You know, it's the same thing. It's the same concept. Just run past everything. You don't have to fight and kill as few bosses as possible. But especially in Shaded Woods, because everything here will kill you and poison you and backstab you, one shot you. Especially the lion dudes with the, with the hundred million poise. The un the unstaggerable lion dudes. I don't even actually. I don't know if you can parry them. I no, you can backstab them. So I'd assume you could parry them or card break them, but I don't know. Here's Bernhardt. We're not even going to talk and talk to him. He doesn't want to talk to me. I'm too creepy. Mm. Yep. Here's Rosabeth. I'm just, there's not much else to say about this right now. Because there's nothing interesting going on. I mean, I killed the Rotten at level... Well, I already leveled up. But at like level 18 or whatever. 
So, running around in circles is the best strategy here. Just run around in circles. Run around in circles, and run around in circles, and run around in circles. Until finally, the Basilisk comes out of the little doorway so you can just run past him. And there is a flash shard there, but I'm not even going to bother with it because I don't need it. I'm pretty sure I'll be fine. There's no more hard bosses. I, I had to fight Nashka, who's fucking piss easy once you get good. Once you get good, basically. But uh, her move set, once you've learned it, and what you've, once you once you figure out how to exploit her move set, it's quite easy to kill her. Even a, I did it with the unupgraded broadsword at one point. I remember that actually. That I did that like just because I could. <laughs> I just killed her with the unupgraded broadsword for some reason. Um, but yeah, like she's not at all difficult to kill. And uh, the congregation isn't even a boss. Oh no! Oh, I'm poisoned. That's not good. All right, I gotta gotta heal myself. Chug, chug, chug. <laughs> that was close. I almost died. That would have been GG. That would have been so GG. I'd have been so mad because I have to walk all the way back from the Jula because I didn't rest the bonfire. Holy shit, that would have sucked. Lucked out. I would actually get the red tear stone ring, but waste of time right now. I just don't feel like getting it. And uh, Red Tear Stone Ring is good to have when you don't have any of the better rings. It's it's a shitty fucking ring to be honest. To be in all honesty. Oh, I went the wrong way. Fuck. I was talking about the Red Tear Stone Ring and I went and picked it up. Fuck it. We'll put it on then. I, I It's a shitty ring. It's really bad right now. Like, because they nerfed it and they should buff it. Please, from soft, buff the fucking Red Tear Stone Ring for the love of God. You've nerfed the best ring in the game. You're terrible people. Um... It's not even that good, like, it's just, like, it's good when you're fighting, like, a boss and you're really low on health, and you're just like, I don't feel like healing, I'm just gonna kill this boss with sick fucking strats, you know? That's, that's the whole point of it. Lloyd Styles has been entirely useless in this game, because there's, like, life gems and divine blessings and everything else. They should, they should totally do something. We should, there should be a spell that's, like, uh, that's, like, Profound still that just disables us this flask for everyone in a large area. That would be really nice. I would actually really like that. Oh crap. Uh, the Corinth ring plus one is here. Uh, I'm just gonna pick it up because it's a good ring. It's not as good as the plus two, that's for sure, but it is a good ring and I will use it. And watch out because that guy, the invisible dudes, will backstab you and one shot you no matter how much health you have. <laughs> I've had it happen multiple times. But yeah, here we go. This area, we're going to basically skip all of it. We're going to need all the petrified dragon bones for this area. And we're probably actually going to bonfire aesthetic it and, and like farm this area for, for bones. Uh, but uh, I'm not going to do it now. I'm going to do it after I have the butcher's knife because there's no reason to get it right now. It would be easier to just get the butcher's knife first, in my opinion. So we will do that. And... There's actually something I would really like to make the Butcher's Knife raw, because it's actually got, like, the perfect stats for a raw weapon. It has horrible scaling, but high base damage, so... Uh, if you ever make it a Butcher's Knife build, if you decide to go higher level and go all the way to Iron Keep, make it raw, make it raw, make it raw. It'll be so good. I can I can just feel the stats. You just get so much free damage off making it raw. But uh, I can't do that, because I'm not going to be going far enough into the game. This is going to be a low, low, low level build. Alright, here's Nashka. Uh, well, I don't have a grass. I can't pop a grass. I don't really need to pop a grass. I just wanted to. Hey, how, hey, baby, how's it going? Don't attack her until his health bar appears. And if you shoot, if you hit the tails, you'll actually knock them off after a while. It does take quite a few hits, though. That attack, roll backwards. This attack. This attack. Uh, you just want to strafe around her and sprint like this, and it will not hit you, I promise. If you just do this, it won't hit you, as long as you sprint. Uh, this attack, back up, and then just walk up and hit her in the face. And then, uh, like I said, don't be close to her front, because she will constantly spam her fucking snip snips, as I call them. That attack, always roll backwards. That attack, like basically everything she does, roll backwards unless it's magic, and then just this one, you just walk towards her and it won't hit you. But and the Coming Crystal Soul Mass one, that one, you just go to the left, and that one, you go forward, and then yeah, 
just hit her when she's doing stupid crap that she can't fight you against. There's also the strategy I'll show you now, that after she comes up, where you can get her locked in doing her tail swipes over and over. It's not reliable, but it does give you lots of free damage if you get a few rounds of it. She'll pop up now. Alright, you stand right here when she gets up. And she will do her tail swipe as long as you stand right here. Oh, no, I staggered her out of it. She was going to do it, but then I staggered her, so... Ah, fuck. She's doing this. Okay. Run around in a circle. It, doesn't, it does not hit you if you go to the left. If you just sprint to the left. It's perfect. Alright, free damage. Roll backwards. Oh, you see I fucked up there. I tried to roll to the left and it didn't work. <laughs> Ah, stop doing that. Alright, she went underground again. Do I have anything I can throw at her or anything? I don't think you can poison her. I've never managed to do it with poison resin. She might just have a really high poison resistance. Alright. Right here, when she gets back up, and she'll do her tail swipe. There you go. And uh, what you do is you stand here, and then you go back and stand in the same place. And she might do it again. No, she decided not to. They, she can, you can lock her into doing that over and over. The best, I think I got it four times in a row once by doing that. And it, it worked. Like, it was just fucking funny. Uh, it is quite a good strategy to have. Uh, that's that's one. Okay. Why don't you do the easy to dodge one where I just walk forward? And run into the right. Yeah. <laughs> this is risky. She can lock you in a combo if you're not if you if you mess that up. So it's it's better not to attack her directly in the front and just wait for the openings. Basically after she digs or after she casts a spell or after she stabs the ground with her tails. Those are the best times to hit her. Those are the safest times to hit her, I mean. So like I said, stand right here. She does a stupid tail attack. And just free hits, you know, all day long. Because she's just being a fucking moron. <laughs> and then just stand her right here. And she'll do a stupid fucking tail attack. Because <laughs> she's being a moron. Just tail attacking the ground. And then you just stand right here. And she'll do a stupid tail attack. Oh, no, she didn't do it that time. But you guys get the fixture, I think. She, she's quite easy to trick into doing her long, drawn-out tail attacks. Alright, so we just killed Najko with an unupgraded fire longsword. Skill. I didn't even really... I didn't even use all my Estus class. So that brings us to 90,000 soul memory. Which means we only really need to kill one more boss, Congregation. And then all we need is upgrade materials and we're done. So we're actually quite close to being done already. And it's only been 40 minutes. 48 minutes. Hmm, pretty good. So, yeah. Oh, no, no, no! I forgot. I forgot it's a mimic. I forgot it's a mimic. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> oh, that could have been really bad. I'm lucky I managed to save quit that. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so fucking stupid. Why was I, like, just... I just went fucking stupid mode. That was just amazing. I don't know why I opened that chest. Mm. 10 out of 10. Oh, it's up! Oh, no! Oh, I might still die. Go, go. Go, go. To the bonfire. Please be me. Okay, thank you. All right. While our soul memory is really low, let's go into the rat den. Oh dear. MFW summoned. MFW. MFW. But probably not. Usually if your soul memory is this low, you will never get summoned. No, I, I wanted to lock on to the rat. Go away. No one likes you. Okay, we're safe. The rats are the actual danger here. Uh, 
the mammoths are like not even a threat. They won't ever hit you as long as you roll away from them. These rats, though, oh my god, they're so freaking difficult to deal with because if they hit you like once, you're poisoned, and it's like a ridiculously strong poison. All right, but we're okay. Problem solved. Now all we're gonna do is get up here. There's a petrified dragon bone at the top here. There's also uh, the spell that I want to make a video about, which is awesome, but I can't ever seem to make it work. Um, there we go. This is a trap chest, so just, yeah, react accordingly. And it has Petrified Dragon Bone. And I just, that's all I want from this entire area, because, <laughs> yeah, Petrified Dragon Bone. So we're going to go this way and just rest the bonfire because it's faster. I don't have to waste a helmet bone going this way. I'm not going to fight the boss, obviously. But we're just going to warp back to the first part of the cave. I apologize for chewing ice. But I wanted some ice. There's a Titanite lizard coming up that I can't kill. <laughs> Um, do I have anything that could kill it? No. Well, maybe. If I get lucky, I might catch him. He's very fast, though. I've never been able to catch this damn lizard with a melee weapon. He's pretty, he's pretty easy to kill with, like, Soul Spear, at least. So, if you had that, go for it. But, Homunculus Mace, please, be my guide in this moment of sorrow and desperation. You are OP as shit, so. Oh, come on. Ro really? Dude, come on. Seriously? Please? Please, BB? Thanks, BB. I don't want to kill you. I like worm dudes. They're awesome. Oh. Ah, he's so fast. You just can't. You just can't. He's the fastest lizard in the game, I swear to God. He's got, like, a speed boost. He brewed, uh, sugar and, uh... Whoa, ow. What, what's the Minecraft recipe for a fucking haste potion? I don't even remember. I think it was sugar, wasn't it? It was, like, sugar and water. No, it was sugar and a mundane potion or something like that. And you get a fucking speed boost potion. You become a sanic for a short, short period of time. That, yeah, he has one of those. He drinks it and he runs away. Alright. We're at Brightstone Cove. We're not going to fight anything here. Because why would we? But this is fun, though, because you have to get through that door. And there's a million dudes around it, so you have to, like kite them around in a circle very carefully so as to not get molested, basically. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's just... You don't even have to stop for this. You can just walk underneath it. Same goes for this one. Although, they're gonna get hit by it. I don't really care that much. It's only, like, 200 souls, so whatever. Oh my god, fucking RNG, I love this hat. This is the dumbest looking hat. Yes. Fucking 100 out of 100, 10 out of 10 would do. Best hat in the game, 10 out of 10. <laughs> yes, I can't believe I got that without even I was like, I just got that. That was all I got from them. All right, grabbing that shard. So yeah, you just want to like kite them up over here real quick. Make them do an attack combo like that, and then run for the door while they're still doing attacks. And if you're lucky, you'll make it through. And you get amazing hats, too. Fucking best hat ever. Do, do, do. These spiders, you don't even have to fight them. Just don't open the chest. It only, it only has 20 crossbow bolts in it, which is completely useless, so you just just don't even don't even give them the time of day. And then, uh, there's a secret door here that gives you an Estus Flash shard. No reason not to get it. Man, have we seen a single summon sign, like, past the first area? God, it's so low on soul memory. There's just no one near us anymore. We're just, like, way, way far into the game. We we'll usually have, like, 500 to 600,000 here. Alright, easy boss time! Always roll past that, because there's a high chance that you will, uh, get hit by his wog. And then just backstab them over and over. That's usually the best way to handle this, I think. Whoa. Hey there, BB. That's lightning bolt. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that could have been bad. That could have been bad right there. 
as much as I love RTSR setups, and I, that was totally a planned RTSR setup, RTSR is too risky on a fight like this. Oh, I missed that. He's doing a stupid attack, I'll just backstab him. That should do it, I think. Oh, not quite. Fire Longsword is not that strong, but it's still strong enough to deal with this guy. Now he's dead. Good, good, good. I took that hit to the face, it's alright though. These uh, benches block the lightning bolts, so it's the perfect place to heal in this fight. And I just, yeah, just walk over there whenever you need to heal, and just fucking heal. Yeah, aside from that one fuck up with the multi hit combo, I think we're fine. That, that was a pretty okay fight, I guess. I, I, I've done it. You can, like, destroy this boss once you got a good weapon. Like, you can just tear it up, not even trying. But, uh,. It's not too bad with the Fire Longsword, to be honest. It's pretty easy still. Alright, done. And this one's only worth like 9,000 souls, so it barely adds anything to your soul memory at all. Yeah, 7,000. Bringing us to the total of uh, 98,000, and we're here. We're at Ornifex, at Ornifex's area, with only 98,000 soul memory. That is an accomplishment, sir. That is a... That is, that is just going to show how uh, soul memory optimization can really like get you what you need for a build with extremely low soul memory. You, it's, it's, it's very effective if you take these kind of routes and you just are very, very uh, frugal with your souls and how you spend them and just, you know, do things as you need to. Uh, he sells nothing I particularly want, so I'm not going to talk to him. I just wanted the bonfire aesthetic because bonfire aesthetics are how you get lots of upgrade materials without actually going farther into the game. For example, if you burn a bonfire aesthetic in the poison pools uh, at Earth at the uh, Harvest Valley poison pools bonfire, you can get three chunks every time, titanite chunks every time you burn it. Uh, and that's actually a way I get chunks very fast now, is I just burn like five or six aesthetics there because there's no boss, and you can just get more and more and more and more. It's great. You can also get three if you burn one at the Cardinal Tower in uh, Force Fallen Giants, but you have to kill the bosses, both bosses, every time you do it, so it's not very efficient for soul memory. But it's a good way to farm souls and Titanite chunks, though. Alright, we're gonna go ahead. I actually haven't unlocked one effects yet, so I'm gonna not go down here yet. Even though there's a lot of Titanite lizards I need to kill and a lot of items I need to pick up, but let's go free one effects. And talk to uh, whatever's face, Tark, you know, and kill Tark afterwards. It would have been smart to actually talk to Tark beforehand and summon him, but I actually think it actually makes the fight harder. One one pro tip for all you guys out there: summoning makes bosses stronger. So summoning two phantoms isn't going to make it easier. Sometimes, sometimes it'll make it harder. It just depends. Uh, personally, I think summoning one person is the max you should ever do. Because two makes bosses one shot you. Like, it, it just does. If you summon two people for Iron, Old Iron King, he will one shot you. It, it just will happen every single time. Um, here we go. Ring of Whispers. Thank you. Fragrant Branch. So he gave me the Fragrant Branch, right? Yeah, I have the Fragrant Branch. So that's all I needed from him. Now you die. <laughs> oh, I don't do much damage to him at all. Wow. That kind of sucks. So he's not too difficult anyway. He drops the second dragon ring, so he's worth killing in my opinion, because that's a really good ring for this slow and like this early in the game. Oh, fuck. That attack, yo. Like, third dragon ring is clearly better, but you can't get third dragon ring to the very, very end of the game, so I don't see any reason to, like, not get this and use it. Alright, there you go. Thank you. We'll play, we'll play Skittle RTSR with this. 
No more RTSR setups that I totally planned. <laughs> and uh, actually, I believe the Chlorin Thurming is better than the uh, Blue Sealed, personally. Like, stamina is more important than health in most cases. Oh crap, there's a fucking lizard here. Oh, and I can't even hurt it. Oh, that sucks. Why do you have so much health? Should've used the homunculus mace. Uh, we'll deal with this later. I'm gonna use a homeward bone. Lazy, lazy, lazy. Lazy, lazy, lazy. Okay. Um, yes, we need to get one effects, so we need to get that key over there. Risky jumps? No thanks. I'll skip that one. Light, life gems, though. Those are good. Uh, jumps. I actually didn't even make that. I was trying to just get down here so I can get this. I made that now, but now when I go back to do that jump again in a second, I'm going to miss it. Dark Souls. Alright, come on. Rollback stabs. This is going to take like eight of them too. Oh god. Thank you. Based from soft. Oh my, I might knock him off the cliff. That might be good. Please, please fall. Please fall. Please fall. Ah, oh, damn it, he didn't fall. I was really hoping he would. Alright. Come on. Do your attack. This is going to take a while. I might have a better weapon for this. The broadsword probably will do more damage on a backstab since it's not fiery. And these guys are weak to, weak to uh, slash, but resistant to fire. Yeah, look at that. The, uh, the attacks just do more this way. There we go. Much better. Alright. Fire will be better against the basilisks, I think, though. Okay. Huh. Yeah, I made it. Sweet. Let's use a life gem just in case these guys do a lot of damage if they actually hit you with their amazing jump spin of doom that they have. Okay, yep. I want to get out of there. Oh, I got an item. There we go. Cool. Ross, a raw stone? Oh, you're just taunting me, game. You know I want to make this butcher knife raw, but I can't. Bastard. Hello, Ornithex. Talk, talk, talk. Talk, talk, talk. And then item. Oh, that's an item I actually like. Cool. Uh, oh, and there's a two. There's a Twinkling Titanite here, and if you use a Bonfire Stick, there's three. So if you're trying to max out a Twinkling Titanite weapon early in the game, just fucking burn Aesthetics here all day long. <laughs> burn, like, three Aesthetics, kill Nashka a few times, and you'll have a maxed out weapon in no time. MLG Pro Tips, you know. So now that we've done that, she will be at her house in Brightstone Cove, Seldora. So we will just go there and go talk to her and get our weapon. Hi, pipe, hi, pipe, pipe, as it were. We'll also kill these Titanite Lizards on our way. I actually don't, yeah, Homunculus Mace kills Titanite Lizards, so let's get that out. Gotta be careful about what you use. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. Two hits and an unupgraded mace. That's fucking hype right there. Alright. There's a uh, dragon bone over here that I want. Certainly. Ow. There's also spiders that come down, so I need to run, run, run. <laughs> and get in this building as fast as I can. And if I can, I'll close the door, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to. Because I don't want the spiders coming in here. No spiders. Sorry I'm breaking all your stuff. Okay. Go we need to get this. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Trade. Butcher's knife. Done. And there you go. That is a... Lord Soul, a boss weapon from Ornithex with 100,842 soul memory. Soul memory optimization is key. You can still twink if you want, it's just more difficult. Um, 
for example, you can actually, uh, you know, it's even easier. You could get a plus 10 fire longsword with probably like 50,000 soul memory by just going uh, Dragon Rider, Skeleton Lords, and then burning a bunch of ascetics in uh, Earth and Pink, or uh, in Harvest Valley. Because in Harvest Valley, you can get, with two bonfire stacks, you can get enough to upgrade any weapon to max. And that's very, very low. Like, you could legitimately, like, make twinks in this game. It's, it's very, very possible. So, yeah. There you go, guys. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and finish out this build. But that was like that was what I was that was this was the point I was trying to make and show how to make how to get stuff without really making your soul memory that high. Uh, let's go get the rest of these items that are scattered about here that I want. There you go. Okay. I want to upgrade this uh, butcher's knife like plus two probably maybe three. I'm not really sure yet. Oh really? Come on, just break the door. Oh, it is chasing me. I don't want. I don't want. Okay, there we go. Tiny chunk. That's all I really want. Oh, ooh. I didn't mean to use that. Shit. <laughs> okay, there we go. Return to our bonfire, and then now is the logistics of trying to get upgrade materials with bonfire aesthetics. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do for that. Oh, well, that was derpy. First thing we need to do for that is go to. Shade of Ruins to pick up the two that are there, and then probably burn a bonfire so that I can get another two from there. So, Shade of Ruins. Alright. And here we can just... I can't use this yet, it takes too many stats. Um, I have to respect for it. I think... I don't actually know which will do more damage to the Basilisk, because I need to kill it, sadly. Uh, I'll actually... Oh, no, no, I have an idea. Uh, I'll use the Flamestone Dagger. Wait, I can't use that? Really? 12 decks, goddammit. Uh, I'll use the Broadsword with Pine Resin and Poison it. That should do it. That'll be faster than trying to actually kill it with a fucking ungraver weapon, because this thing has a lot of health. There's also a... Uh, bonfire... There's a petrified dragon bone right here that I need. Thank you. Okay. Hello. Hello. How are you doing today? I need to kill you too, don't I? God, those guys hurt when they hit you. Okay, risky, risky, risky. Oh, I hate that attack so much. He's gonna, he's gonna wave that ass. Here we go. Whoa, he didn't do it. But I have poisoned him, so we're good. Let's just roll on over here and let him die. <laughs> Indeed. I wish I had the binoculars so I could just look at him. It's such a magnificent. He's like. I love that enemy. It's so cool. Ah, oh, I ran out of poison. Damn it. Come on. Really? Wave that ass around. Whoa! Oh, God. That damage. The damage is real. The damage is real. The damage was real as fuck. Holy shit. Nope. Oh, he's gonna do that. Okay. Free hits, free hits, free hits. Come on, there we go. Hedgefy Dragon Bone. Let's go get the uh, the one that's down here, real quick. There's actually not a bad. There's not a Dragon Bone down here, but there is Tight Knight, and I can use it to upgrade armor. So why not? Oh yeah, I need to upgrade a Shodel as well, because yeah, I was going to plan on having a Shodel as well as a, uh... Oh, fuck! No, I, I... Oh, I didn't mean to do that! Oh, what the hell? Why did it jump? Damn it. Alright, whatever. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I didn't want to jump there. It's going to make me run all the way back here. Damn it. Oh. 
hate that so much. I only need one more chunk, too. This is one of those times where uh, it would have been nice to have like a lightning resin. I should have picked the one up at the start of the game. I totally forgot. Because that would help you me kill that, that lizard without any issues. Alright. Running attack. Running attack. Running attack. There you go. Problem solved. Now we can use a homer bone. And now we get to kill the Basilisk on New Game Plus. So he will guaranteed one-shot us now. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Because I need to burn an ascetic here to get more dragon bones. And now Nashka's alive again. So I can't do this multiple times, sadly, without killing her. And she gives like 50,000 souls on New Game Plus. So I don't want to actually do it. But, uh... At the very least, this gives me the ability to get two more where our producer say wouldn't get, be able to get any. And I have a total of five now, which is almost enough. I, I think I need, yeah, just I only need one more to make it plus three, and I can't make it plus four. There's literally no way for me to get out materials to make it plus four, so. And plus four, I mean, I, honestly, I'm, I'm basically making a low level build, so I don't really need to make it that powerful. Plus three will be enough, so. Honestly, that should do it. Uh, I'm not even going to bother unlocking. Leningrast, I don't think. Maybe. Uh, uh, mm, I should probably... It's only a thousand souls, and it's worth having him available. and Because it's so much harder to get to Orn effects than it is to get to Leningrast. <laughs> I don't really like walking down there every time I need to upgrade something. That would be a pain in the ass. So Let's just go ahead and pick up this good old key that we need. There we go. That's that, and that's probably it for things. Oh, uh, I do kind of want this. It's 12 faith for a heal. Having heals is kind of nice, so... Yeah. Um... That should do it. I also really want the... Shodel. I totally forgot about it because I'm doing a I'm a, doing a butcher. I'm gonna have a meat hook, the shotel, and a butcher's knife. So <laughs> that sounds like a pretty good uh, little cosplay type thing, and I like the idea of it. Oh jeez! God, these things are so annoying. Stop, please. Stop! You violated the law. Pay the court a fine or serve your sentence. Your stolen goods are now forfeit. Alright, Shotel. Shotel obtained. Oh my god, so many enemies. Why? Ah, ooh. Please don't poison me. Okay. We got it. Uh, to Leningrad and to upgrade. Oh, jeez, I dropped my controller. I don't know how that did not cause problems. My controller has, has uh, issues. Um, more or less like it besods my computer occasionally. It's a piece of shit. <laughs> it's a very old controller. It's very beat up. And also the drivers for PS3 are fucking terrible. Okay, cool. Um... Yeah, you do upgrades. That <laughs> there really isn't much left to this. I'm, I'm gonna get my upgrades. I'm gonna buy some spells. I'm gonna get some. I just want some copies of Heal. That's basically it. And um, yeah. Reinforce butcher's knife. Butcher's knife. Butcher's knife. Yeah, I would need four more dragon bones, which I don't think there's any way for me to obtain four more. I'd have to go on the wiki and check because I don't remember any more that I can get. I'd be able to get three, and three's not enough, so whatever on that. Uh, this, I need buy. I could go pick up a Titanite Shard somewhere, but I'm just going to buy one here because it'll be simpler for me. Um, that's good enough, in my opinion. Plus five Shotels. That's plenty of damage. It's 176. Passes their shields, so it's pretty good. Once again, I wish you could make both these raw, because raw Shotel's awesome, and raw Butcher's Knife is awesome. 
All right. And then, uh... Nothing else I really need here. I might upgrade the hat later if I actually get, get in the mood. Um, let's see. Clothing. I'm not really sure what I want to wear on this build. I was actually just thinking about the, uh... About the... The weapons, really. I do know I want to do this. Uh... Can you... I can't remember if you can actually... Okay, you get that. Yeah, that attack's there. But is... Do you have the hook attack on this side? Or par It's parry. Oh, no. But I can do this and just do that, I guess. So that'll be fine. Uh, yeah, I like the way this looks. It's pretty cool. So I'm going to need to respec with my soul vessel, so let's go talk to the bitches. At, oh my god, I didn't rest at things betwixt. I am the best. Kill yourself, IRL. <laughs> I'm not really going to. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, go up to things betwixt real quick. And um, I'm an idiot, guys. That was a fail of monuments as portions. I can't believe I fucking forgot to rest at things betwixt. <laughs> I'm terrible. I want that Cleric's Chime, and I want the Binox. Let me try a Binox boost while I'm at it. <laughs> I believe you use your left hand for this. That's what I see everyone use. Uh, I'm at really high equip load, so it might not work like that. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> I don't know how to do this at all. Yeah, I don't have a clue. Regardless, uh, let's equip our weapons. Because whenever I respec, I like to look at the weapon damage going up and down for stats and stuff to see what exactly I should do with my build. Alright. Alright, hello, ladies. Okay, so actually, before I do that, I need to actually know what the stat requirements are these two weapons. Uh, I believe it's like... 16 dex and 25 strength. Okay. 16 dex, 25 strength, which means, uh. 25 strength is gonna kill me. Yikes! That is a lot of levels, but I need it, so. Alright, I'm gonna need vitality with this build because of the fact that the Butcher's Knife weighs so damn much! <laughs> So that, and then I would love to have 17 Endurance and all, but I can't afford it. I have to go 7 for now. I can go level up a little more, actually. And we can actually look at the total weapon damage. 228 plus 33. That's pretty good, though, right there. 200 damage on the, uh, on the Shodal. With a little bit more on this. I actually love the way this, this weapon is, like, has the silliest attacks ever, and it has this. Which is great. Because that means I can actually parry people with the, the shotel and then just, just you know, just try to come up behind them and do this in their neck. That'd be like an awesome video, I'm sure. I'll have to do that. Um, what's the total equip? Ooh, 54%. That is a lot of equip load. I need to get that below 50. 50 is way too high. So let's warp to Firelink and level up with any souls we have left over. Um, and then I need to go pick up the. Yeah, I, I do need to get the heal spell attuned. So that's also another thing. Um. Let's see what the stats look like real quick. And this is what I was saying about saving souls is important because you end up in these situations. That is that much for two copies of heal to be attuned. I don't know if that's worth it because I technically want more vitality and I can't afford both. I can have to choose. Oh, It's a hard choice actually. I don't know which is more important to have, have heals or to have better rolls. Hmm. 
because having heals is really important when you end up in a situation where it's two or two v one or three v one, and uh, when you when you invade. So it's it's not something to look look down upon like that. Yeah, I mean, having heals is important. see what the total weight would be if I just ran naked. 49%. With an LK roll. I think I could live with that and have heals. And I mean, honestly, going naked just sounds fun. <laughs> no poise. No, wait, two poise. Fuck yeah. Two poise. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's level this. I'm going to go with 12 faith. And then I'm going to put the other two points in. I'm going to put that point into endurance. And then, uh, since I only need... How much do I need to level up again? Not much. I'll probably get that many souls going to get the ring, so who cares? We'll, we'll get that in a second. That's really fast, actually. I didn't realize the uh, attack was so quick. Oh my god. Oh, that's awesome. The move sound this is quite good, actually. Like I said, if you made it raw, you'll get a lot of damage out of it. So since uh, it's scaling, it's literally like no scaling at all. So like making it raw would be optimal as fuck. Um, yeah. <laughs> hey there, baby. Get off. Alright, I'm gonna have to kill this guy. He's a pain in the ass. <laughs> really? <laughs> they smack me with. Oh, really? You're here still? How did you get here? Go away. Thank you. Oh, that was really nice of you. Thank you. Alright, I have enough souls to do the thing now. So I just need to break these and pull this lever. This gets you the Southern Ritual Band plus two. The plus three is obtained by killing Najka, but that's 50,000 souls I don't want, so... Yeah, you know. Oh, damn it. It is so hard to get up there. Ah, I hate you. <laughs> I just, like, floated there for a second. That's great. Come on. Almost there. Yes! Did it. So the ritual plan plus one. Um, I'll drop the life running. There's not really much point in having that on. I don't need that much life. Especially just gonna have two heals. In fact, I could probably run replenishment and heal. That would be even better. But oh, I have to kill Dragon Rider for that. And I don't really want to kill Dragon Rider. I like how my soul memory is right now. It's very low. Although I could look at tiers. This is another thing. There are tiers to soul memory. It's not based on percentages. So it's actually best to be pretty close to the end of a tier. Because you'll have the most soul memory for the for the tier you're in. Um, oh, fuck. I don't have a homer bone. I'll have to go get one. Hello, Iron Pineapple. How are you doing today? I don't know if you guys can see that, but Steam messages. <laughs> Please don't kill me while I do this, baby. I would actually like to have a no deaths build. That would be pretty amazing in some regards. Pull, pull, pull. Pull with your heart. Roll, roll, roll. Roll with your heart's content. Oh my god, roll. Roll in every direction. Oh my god. This is bad. I pulled the wrong lever, too. I just realized the homer bone's on the other side. The homer bone is on the other side of that door. Oh no. My no deaths, my no deaths comes to an end here. This is going to be it. This is it, guys. Wait, does this have the... This has the light parry. That's interesting. I had no idea about that. Okay. Fucking pray for the, pray to the gods. Pray to the gods. Yes. Okay. Just juke, juke, and juke, and juke, and juke, and juke. Oh my god. Please don't. Please don't. No! You bastards! You blew it up. You blew it up. There was a homeward bone right there. Oh no. I hate these spiders. They're such assholes. 
Ah, oh, I have to go retrieve those souls. They're too precious. And I can actually level up off that souls and get another point in endurance, which would be great. Fucking goddamn spiders. Holy fucking shit. I have eight chunks? Whoa, what? Wow. Jesus. Where can I get two more chunks without raising my soul memory? Hmm. Where can I get two more chunks? All right, sorry, two more large shards. I'm trying to think. There's gotta be a place. Ow. Okay, let's use our home bone over here. Oh, I can't, because I'm getting hit. Oh, that's stupid. Come on, really? There's actually three Helmer bones there? That's nice. Okay, uh, actually, I do know there is, um, there is a, uh, there is a, a large shard, um, in this area that I can get. And then I can burn a bonfire so that I can get another large shard somewhere else, I think. I think. Um, maybe. Oh, I just can't remember where they are. I just know there's one this way over here. I think he drops one, actually. Not that I can actually kill this guy, because there's a spider in the way. Thank you, game. How do I get over there again? I can't remember. Oh, yeah, you have to go through the house. Okay. I believe the, t the, the lizard drops one. So, yeah, that could be nice. Yeah, I need to. One more chance of killing that lizard, I guess. I need to use the homo mace. <laughs> Spider. I hate those spiders. They're such annoying spiders. Unless I have like a better attack. Do I have a good attack for hitting those lizards with this? Not, not really. That that would work, I think. But it's so long that I don't think it would be worth trying because I might miss. Whereas the homunculus mace is very quick for this. So we'll use the homo mace. Actually, let's have both equipped for the sole purpose of switching if I need to. Just, I need I need to kill this lizard like really bad. This would give me this would let me upgrade my shuttle to like plus nine, which would be kind of nice. Okay, I'm gonna need the. No, come on, really? Oh, oh, I hate these fucking lizards so much. They're so hard to hit. You. Why does it do that? Please stop doing that. Well, I guess I'm not going to get it. I just can't. Uh, I don't have any homer bones left, so I'll have to start suiciding to try and get that stupid lizard. Not if I do that, I'll have no souls left. Blah, blah, blah. Stupid, stupid. Dumb, dumb. Um. Hmm. Is there any other large shards I can get? I can't think of any. And I, it's not that big a deal anyway. It's just the shotel. <laughs> I don't really. The shotel's not the main weapon I'm trying to use here. I'm trying to use the blister's knife. Is that just how it? Yep, I have flash shards, two of them actually. Okay. Alright. 
so this is basically is the, the end of a playthrough or the end of this this sort of like video guide thing but um there's one last thing you have to do which is get your cracked red eyes the easiest way to do this is to collect five or six of them from just basically there's a there's one in things betwixt there's one in soldiers resting place at uh the forest fallen giants there's actually three of them actually there um there's one in shaded woods there's one in purgatory or there's two in purgatory and uh you can get them from the pigs the pigs will drop them uh the thing is those aren't there aren't that many of them honestly but what you can do, and what I do, and what a lot of people do now, is because of soul memory and items and non-infinite invasions, just back up your save game and revert to it every time you run out of orbs. I, I see no problem with that, honestly. It's not... It's kind of dirty, but it's not cheating, technically. It's just backing up your save games. There's really not much to it. Like, you can easily use Cheat Engine to give yourself infinite orbs or whatever, but... I would rather not do that due to the nature of Steam games and VAC and stuff like that. Uh, anyways, I need to like actually do what I was doing and not just wander around in here. Uh, like I said, it's your decision entirely, and uh, you shouldn't let people tell you what you can and can't do, and if you don't like it, then don't do it. But that is the easiest way to do invasions in this game, is to just get uh, like somewhere between 7 and 15 orbs, and then just invade 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 and then revert to your old save game and just keep reverting back you won't gain soul memory and you won't run out of orbs if you do this so it's pretty much the perfect solution to the whole fucking problem with invasions in this game being the only way to get orbs is to be in the brotherhood of blood and the brotherhood of blood arena is broken it is utterly completely broken it does not work like it's supposed to i don't know why i'm killing these guys i'm stupid oh well 10 souls who cares yeah like uh I, they, if I went to the Brotherhood of Blood Arena right now, at, with this current 100,000 soul memory character, I could get matched up with people who are level 500. And it can happen over and over and over. So, it, it's just stupid. Like, what? why the hell is that like that not a restriction on that? I would totally be fine using the Brotherhood of Blood Arena if it worked correctly. But it just doesn't. It really, really doesn't. And ranking up in the Covenant doesn't work. Uh, you can't, like, you should just be able to turn in your spite tokens and rank up with spite tokens. But instead, they have this stupid fucking system where, like, when you invade, you lose a point. But if you kill the host, you do. But if they fall off a cliff, you lose a point. If you lose an arena, you lose a point. It's, it's like, it's just obnoxious. It's an obnoxious system. It's terrible. And there's no way to see what your current points are. It's just, you have to, like, keep track of it on a piece of paper. It's fucking retarded. Why, why is there not a way just to tell how many points you have? It's an awful. It's just awful. It's just bad and awful and bad, and I hate it, so I'm not going to fucking deal with it. <laughs> Anyways, we got, uh, one, we got one red eye there, and uh, honestly, since I have almost no areas unlocked, I'm going to go farm pigs for like an hour. But, uh, yeah, for those of you who want to do save game backups, your save games are located in local disks, you know, C, your C drive, and then users, your username on your computer, as in like, you know, Patrick or david or whatever and then under app data which is a hidden folder so you'll have to unhide folders in, in your name in your user folder and then under app data roaming dark souls ii looks like dark souls 2 but it's dark souls ii and then in there is a save game file called something something sl2 and you just copy paste that and then every time you want to go back you just copy the old save file into its place and delete the current one no problem at all really easy to do i'm sure there's some other tutorials on how to do that if you need more help uh, I can explain it better in the comments if you need some help, just ask about it. Uh, but anyways, yeah, that's that's the easiest way to handle it. And like I said, I, a lot of people don't agree with it. And that's fine. You don't have to if you don't want to. But it's nothing really breaking. They're not really breaking any rules or cheating in any way. You're just, you know, going back in time every time you run out of cracked red eyes. And the easiest way to get cracked red eyes is right over here with Mr. Piggers. I'm probably going to farm like five because I'm lazy. <laughs> Oh, piggers. Hello. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope this was informative and helpful for all you wannabe low-level invaders out there. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. I'm hungry. Piggoo.